the two options that we talking about today for the O2 series will be the prologue and the watchdog. The watchdog is mainly what you'll be using because it's integrated into the uh, inverter and or optional integrated. And the prologue is a, is a device we can use for multiple system up to 32 inverters. Instead is an optional um, interface for a homeowner to watch the system without going online or going outside, out to the side. The Prolog, as you can see here, I put it on the table. We're going to look at it a little bit later just to touch it and then see where the terminations are for the uh, connections. Again, I can monitor up to 32 inverters. There's two versions. We have the M and the XL. The differences are that the XL has more inputs on digital and analog, so you can put radiant sensors, temperature sensors, or wind speed sensors, uh, et cetera, on it. And uh, the memory card is actually a little bit bigger, so this device will store energy. Even though there's no internet connection, you could still keep the, the information that's produced from the system will stay on there for years. So you can access this directly without the internet, or you can go through our portal and access the information as well. Uh, this is the way you would set it up. You have an RS-45 setup, and it's a it would be daisy chained together, up to 32. Going into the prologue, you can locally access that, as well as sending, uh, connecting it to our server, and then we will basically update the uh, portal, and you will be accessing it through the web, uh, for, through in this case through Sanjevity's website. And the quick start will help you to set up the equipment. Very simply, it shows the pictures. It shows pretty much everything you have to do. You can download that on our website as well. And it comes with the box. It comes with each device that you order, the same as with the watchdog. In your case, probably the installers who might want to take that with them as a sheet sheet card that is kind of laminated or something. Um, this is just the difference between the two products, M and XL. Um, as you can see, the inputs on the M is a, a single input on the analog and a digital, and for the Prolog XL, it has four inputs. That's the main difference on the two. And of course, uh, there's other options on the modem side or so. The way you connect them uh, is you're running an RS-45 cable, which is a, a twisted pair of wires. It's a two wires, A and B. And you start off at the Prolog. There's a termination here. It's a little terminal. It says RS-45 and you're running the two wires to each inverter. If you're running the prolog to inverter number one, in this case, let's say this one, this would be an address number one, number two, three, and so on and so on. And they all daisy chain together. And then in the end of the termination, again, there's a little switch that you call the dip switch here. Then you just have to, all the other inverters, would, the switch will stay open, and the last inverter, the switch will close, just like a light switch, so we close the loop. So it's very simple. For the prologue, of course, you have to do it because you always will have multiple inverters if you're going to use that prologue device. For the installation of the inverter, you can see we have the returns here and the hots here, the grounds, and the L1, L2, and neutral. Using uh, two cables connecting it to A and B, and running that cable then to the card over here to A and B. So basically you're connecting it to A and B. Prolog, the Ethernet connection is connected right here. This is the terminal. It gets connected right there, and then this will go into the outlet. And so the inverter will store that data. If you, connect, if you disconnect the card, the inverter will always clock the data in. So the accumulated protection of the system will always be in the inverter. So for any reason, let's say they disconnect their service, or some, they didn't pay their bills, or something happens, we can always take that data from the inverter and add it to the monitoring later. It but it's wouldn't cumulative, it's not necessarily. Exactly. It would not show the single, exactly. It would not show the in individual data, it would just show the cumulative data. The watchdog, I mean, com communication wise is again, you can daisy chain up to three inverters together. If you use the card inverter number one, then this is number one, number two, number three. If you use the card in the middle because of the setup, you would start in the middle here, this would be a host or your master. And let's say you go to one, two, and then three. So it's just, they always have to be daisy chained together. You can't just you know, jump left and right, because then your card wouldn't know which word it, because you over, the data will go for the same stream, and then it would just, the data gets lost. Um, the card then sends the data to our server. You get an email alarm, and you can access that through the Sanjevity website, or to Sanjevity. Uh, 
hosting website. This is a picture of an installed watchdog card. You can see the base card has this little switch and has the termination for the RS-45. If you have multiple inverters, you will use that terminal down here. There is a description that says ABRS45. The watchdog card has, again, has three inverter options, but you can use it as a single inverter, two or three. The watchdog can hold data only for a day and a half. So if you lose the internet for uh, certain reasons, then you, have to, you want to make sure that the, uh, the data comes back with at least one, one and a half day. The card is easy to install. Since you have to install it still yourself, it takes about two or three minutes. It's a snap and putting the screws in, uh, connecting the blue cable right here. It's a, it's a small ribbon cable. It's a little smaller than this. and gets connected to the bottom base card in here and to the card over there. Let's say the card is installed right here. Uh, let's say it's connected, everything is on. It will do its reboot. It will take a little bit of time. It will scan everything, set up itself, check for the internet, which is we, of course, don't have now. And uh, it just goes through a few sequences. But when you install the card, you don't have once, let's say everything is installed, and you're going to come afterwards and install the card. But if you do it all at the same time, of course, you can do it. But this inverter has to be off if you install the card. That's very important. If you keep the inverter on, you could damage the software on the card. Uh, for instance, you can also, if you shorten something in here, there's a little fuse, this one right here. It's a five volt fuse. Uh, a customer of Sanjevity has actually blown the fuse because he, he tried to connect the RS-45 wires and he kind of went scratching around here and blew that fuse and the inverter was dead. Because what this fuse does also controls the brain of the inverter itself. This is the control card and this is five volts. This voltage for this comes from this card. So once the fuse is blown, nothing will happen. The inverter will just be dead. So that was one thing. So now you can see the card is connected. It's installed. It's doing a scan. And it's going to try to find you know, the inverter and the internet. But then after this is done, we can do a check, like I talked about before, where we can then check um, scan for the inverter. And we can also see the sequences on the uh, communication and see if the internet is actually there or not. And there's also a SOP uh, rewrote that we can hand out, that Sanjavity has now, that can hand out to each installer that then you can read through for the process. And every uh, signal, every blinking, let's say three times blinking means communication is pending. So you have a little table. Table one shows you this, table two shows you the system information, and the table three shows you application. It takes a little bit of time to scan. But in all cases, it's very good to wear gloves when you install the card because all you have to statically discharge yourself because when you start least charged and you touch the card, you could damage the software as well. So touch the metal, touch something, touch the ground, make sure that you have no static on you, and then you install the cards uh, in general. Let's see, that once the card is started up, you can do a little testing here um, and then do a little troubleshooting. Okay, now you can see that the card is doing um, a single blinking, that's a calm light. So we now the link light is not on, and the act light is not doing anything, and the calm light is blinking three times. That may actually means there is communication is pending. But so now we know that there's no internet connection or no link connection, there's no connection to the router. Even if you have a cable in here, and the cable is wrong wired, uh, this will probably show up. Sometimes the link light shows, because the cable is almost connected right, but there's one pair that's twisted. That means you have connection to the router, you have voltage, but the link com light will still blink. So in this case, you know that you have to check your wire, you have to make sure the wire connection uses your master link to check if the connection is correct, and then you run your cable new. Once this is all done, we can then check if the inverter is connected to the, <coughs> to, the to the card itself by moving the cursor. You hold the push button, you're moving the LED up to the application light, and then you let go. Now it's doing a scan, making sure, trying to find the inverter. In, in, in this case, again, it's not going to find the inverter. And it's supposed to blink as much as those inverters are connected. So, But in this case, it would just go back to just going up and down, as a, as, or blinking back to the uh, calm light now. 
this is a quick start guide again that you can take with you to install the card. It will show you what to open, where to do it. I mean, it's very simple. Once you've done it once, it goes quick.